All right, hello everybody. Today we are checking out for the first time Microsoft Flight Simulator, the new 2020 release that came out today. I don't know how this is gonna work. I don't know if it's gonna work on my computer very well or if the internet can handle it. I have no idea what to expect. This might be a very scuffed stream, but regardless, we'll check it out and see how uh, we'll, we'll do our best, all right? I would say this is kind of the test stream because I'd love to do some things with this history related, you know, at some point. But I want to figure things out right now. So this is, <coughs> excuse me, more of a, I don't know, a, uh, a test stream, if anything. We'll call it that. How does things look and sound right now? I haven't done any live streaming from my computer in quite a while. Through the computer. Which is always better, though. You've seen the uh, ra or ratings or reviews for this game have been, like, off the chart. Well, the chart goes to 10, but... Um, it's all nine and ten out of tens, so pretty cool. All right, well let's uh, let's try this out, huh? <clears throat> I was debating which scene to use, either a classic gaming one, which is this, or full screen gaming. Which one do we want? Now, one thing that'd be cool if I get into this game, I think it'd be cool to have a yoke, you know, but I don't know if um, they're all sold out like everywhere now. And I knew I should have bought one because I knew I wanted to, uh, to play this game uh, a long time ago. And I was like, man, I should buy a yoke because I bet they're all going to sell out. And now they're all really expensive or they're really gone. Yeah, I hear this is very very taxing on a computer so we'll see what it we'll see what it uh what it i don't know how it works the game is in the description it is microsoft flight simulator all right but yeah i don't have a yoke but since it's Microsoft, it's, uh, I guess, does pretty well, and it's kind of formatted to work with uh, Microsoft controllers, so I got the Xbox One controller I'm going to use. Uh, did I finish Ghost of Tsushima? No, not yet. I'm very close. But I wanted to kind of play around with this today. All right. Let's just mess around a little bit. All right, let's see what we got. All right, we can change our plane. I need like the noob, the noob plane. Let's just go with the one that they gave me. That That's fine. All right, where should we come from? So are these the ones, now I heard there's a few airports, and I guess this would be it, that are very, uh, like, extremely detailed. So let's, let's do this. Let's go, let's head out of JFK. We'll head out of New York, all right? And let's go to, like... What's one kind of close by? Close-ish. So I'm gonna do one of the, the airports that are, yeah, closer. Toronto, let's go to Toronto. We're gonna go to New York, New York to Toronto. Actually, let's flip it. 
Let's flip it. We're going across the border here. I don't want to give personal information. Okay. Now will I spawn on the runway? We're, we're going to start from the parking. Oh man, look. We're going to go to runway 6. Alright, let's see how it goes. Alright, what FPS will I get out of this? I used all just the recommended settings. I also don't know how the controllers controls will be, but... How does this game work? It's a flight simulator. This is the birthplace of heavier than air flight Kitty Hawk. Oh, that's cool. Go where flight started. Yeah, this is easily the best flight simulator ever. It's getting really good reviews, so. I heard load times are a little longer, which. <laughs> Is gonna feel long, especially having played Ghost of Tsushima, which has like five second load screens. Shortest load screens for an open world game I've ever played. Oh, by the way, we should. Um, send a, a thing. Notification to the people. Send uh I just heard myself. Oh man. We're spawning in. That's eight frames per second. I have a feeling we're gonna be changing this. Oh moved up to twenty five. Okay. Ready to fly. Eight fourteen. I'm flying this little jet. Go. All right. Let's play around with the buttons here. We gotta get off. We gotta get out of the gate. Let's see what these are. Checklist. We gotta start the engines. Oh, we got it going. Engines are starting up. Here we go. They're booting up. Now is my game ready to use... the uh, controller now though? Or is it on... Y, B. Oh, okay, the parking brake is off. To 
Break, push, Y. We're I'm pushing Y! We're going in! This is how you do it! Alright, hold on, we're gonna change a few things. You crashed. We gotta change the FPS. Now I don't need to do the checklist. <laughs> yeah, no, I gotta change a couple things. It's uh, not reading my thing here. You are bad. Well, that was rude. Now it's got like two things on at the same time here. I think I'm also frozen. Oh, there it goes. Hello, Astrid. Uh, yeah, uh, my Y button wasn't working either. Alright, we gotta change some things, though. Oh, can I not do settings, like graphical changes and stuff right now? Can I not do that in the middle of the game? I may not be able to. Maybe here? I mean it's on or off. Basic controls. You get in in menu. Fuel AI basic controls. Because it won't be playable at this, like this right here. Control E. Nobody ever raids my streams. I only do the raiding. Hmm. The engine is warming up. Hello. Dude, look at that solid. 19 FPS. Alright, now what? Landing gear. Landing gear. Landing gear. Was that how you turned it off or something? Landing gear. 
Yep, there's a landing gear. All right. Inside inspection. Well, I don't want to do this. <laughs> Basic controls, question mark. Well, we were going to fly to New York. All right, it's moving up. So I don't know where the runway is. Master warning. Hmm. Just take off randomly. <laughs> I need those pedals. Is it not recognizing my controller? to ground. Dude, you can just turn on all the things. <laughs> Guess we shouldn't turn on all the things. I just put on all the recommended stuff. This gauge the parking brake. We're going backwards. Why is it going backwards? Alright, we're backing up. Rudder controls. Looking over the panel while taxing this aircraft may be difficult. Adjust the thing. Oh man, I'm going backwards. I obviously don't have pedals, dude. So that's how you turn off the engine. Well, I don't have it set up. I don't have a pedal. I don't have physically have a pedal. How do you increase the throttle? And why is the engine stopping? I'm, I'm going somehow.
I don't really know how to decrease throttle. Why do they keep saying my gear is unsafe? How do you decrease the throttle? Oh! I need to know. I don't know what the controls are. It's a better tutorial this time. Huh? I also need to get out of this anyways. Alright, how do I get out of here? Okay. Doggo. <laughs> hey, Black Viper. Alright, we need to change some settings. Obviously, can't go that high. Let's go to... Um, 1080 Ultra I did this this is what it like told me to do Like it was the um uh suggested stuff Flight training. All right, let's do it. We're in Arizona. Get to know your aircraft environment. This training session will familiarize with are you with the basic controls to spread your wings. Explore different views around the aircraft. Pitch and roll the aircraft using the yoke. Skew aircraft reduction and yaw with the rudder. Add reduce power with the throttle. Okay. Recommended sitting settings get low frame rates. Like I need to go even lower than the recommended, probably. Gotta earn my wings. Time to earn my wings. One, aileron. Two, the flaps. Three, the rudder. Four, elevator. I'm gonna load into Arizona. Quite load, a lot of load, huh? Boom, boom, my dog. Did you see him walking around in the back a little bit? <sighs> Dang, man. In this training, yep, you'll learn about the anger on the flaps, the rudder, and the elevator. Alright, we go.
gonna learn how to fly. Oh, we're already up. Welcome to flight training. I'm your instructor, Captain Molina, but you can just call me Jeff. Where are you? This You're invisible. Sounds good. First things first, let's get familiar with your surroundings. Okay. Don't worry. I've got the stick while you get your bearings. <sighs> okay, because I'm nervous. Out your side windows. You can see we have great visibility over Sedona today. Yes, we do. Quick views. It is. I like it. Left, right. Pack to pilot view RS. Okay. Alt one, Alt plus one, any time to call your custom camera. It's kind of nice to go like a little higher, like that. Okay, got it. What next, Captain? Did it want me to actually do it? Assistance? I don't know how to go back to what we were doing now. Now what? Oh, look! We're outside now. Whee! Flying guys. Over there, the Red Rock Mountains of Sedona, Arizona. We got an altitude, airspeed of a hundred knots. Save a custom. Okay, all right. Uh, control Alt F1. Boom. See if you can spot the Sedona Airport. Okay. Runway should be a pretty easy landmark to find. Hmm. Hmm. There you go. Visual where? confirmation on the airport. I don't know where it was. I didn't see it. Now that we're oriented, it's your turn. Time to fly this bird. Oh wait, this is the airport. There it is. We're straight. Pro. Give me give me the X Wing now. To the left. Good. Mm, to course, the left. The the elevator. And the elevator affects the plane's pitch, right? 
Right. Pull back on the stick. The plane starts to climb. Give it a shot. All right. The most valuable things in We're aviation gonna... are speed and altitude. Correct. But notice when you're pitching up, your speed is decreasing. It is. You could add more power. Or for now, let's just pitch down. Okay. Just like that, your speed picking up again as the nose pitches down. Got it. As you level back out, let's talk about another control. The rudders at your feet. I don't have feet. Rudder pedals control the aircraft's side-to-side -side movement, also known as yaw. Hello, Keegan. Those pedals are going to steer the plane left or right. I have, here, but look, I have no feet. Whoa. The rudder. R2. throttle lever, decrease throttle. I don't have a throttle lever. Apparently that's what B is. Surprise, surprise. Our altitude is decreasing. Oh my gosh, it is. This might be a good time for a piloting PSA. Always keep an eye on your surroundings. Because nobody likes a low-flying Someone write that down. You gotta be aware of your surroundings when you fly. Will do. Okay. I need to go faster. So I can maintain this altitude. This I'm going You're to really getting the hang of your controls. Before long, you won't even need a co pilot. Oh man. One day. Until then, if you want help with the radio or checklists or simply flying the plane, I'll be here. You can pass me the controls when you're ready to finish your session. Or keep flying. It is a great day after all. Okay, I got the controls. Advanced stuff now. Woo! Rolling angle's too high, yeah, right. I got this. Oh. Sorry. Wait, where do I need to go? We gotta go faster. Wait, where'd the where'd the airport go? Airport? Airport. You left the training airspace, you need to go back. Oh to that view. How did I go like outside? How did I get the third person view? Oh, it's this one. 
But like, can I do third? Oh, like this. Yeah, this is what I want. Woohoo! There we go. The Red Baron! Dude, I'm gonna land this thing. Crash it. I already crashed once. Where was the airport? An airport around here? Are we, are we just landing on the freeway? It's a nice golf course here. Like they like the roundabouts here in Sedona. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm pretty good at flying in GTA. I, I was the plane guy in the heists. You do stream in the Minecraft server? I mostly just film videos. I don't know where the, the airport went. Okay, so that's... Should have looked at my gauges better. Alright. We'll, we'll send it back. Alright, I have control. Good job. We did it. Next one. Attitudes and instruments. Since you're a teacher, did you tell whoever you kill a GTA that they got schooled? Of course. <laughs> cool to do dogfights in Battlefield 1 with controls like this. Like, super realistic ones. I bet there's games like that, right? Alright, let's learn the controls. Oh look, we're the same person. We're clones. Instructor is currently flying the aircraft. Film the over. I haven't watched the oversimplified yet. Okay, now let's see how I usually wait till a few days. Check your tachometer. Check the what? Looks like we're pushing around 2300 revolutions per minute. Ooh. Combined, attitude and engine RPMs translate to aircraft performance. That's how you look around at stuff, huh? Which leads us to your airspeed indicator. Speed. Should now, on the last left. but not least, check your altimeter. To figure out your altitude, 90 knots. you always want to read the small needle first. Small That's needle. how many thousands of feet up you are. Then on to the big needle for the hundreds. Alright. With our current attitude and power output, we're holding a speed of 90 knots and a stable altitude of 6,000 feet. 6,000. 
about to change. What's the other hand? There's like, I see three hands. Pull right. back slightly on the yoke to raise the nose just above Ooh. the horizon line. About two inches. Above the horizon line? Like this? Or the angle will be too steep to create lift. Like this? And without enough lift, we'll stall. Higher? Alright. Go full throttle and start climbing. Oh, snap. Here we go. Welcome to the climb attitude. Oh. Here we go. I see it. According to your altimeter, we're gaining altitude. Yes, we are. But we're losing airspeed even at full throttle, proving you can't avoid basic physics while making a climb. Oh, physics? Hey, Miz. Okay, before we go on, let's get back to a cruise attitude. Ease up on the yoke and aim your nose just below the horizon. Then throttle back down to 2300 RPMs. 2300. Nice job. We're now set up with the same attitude. That's too slow, though. At the top of our lesson. Next up is the descent attitude. Okay. Start by reducing your RPMs to 1800. Then drop the plane's nose a bit further below the horizon. As expected, with a nose down attitude, our altitude is decreasing while our speed is picking up. Why don't you get us back to a Why are we turning? And we'll hit the last part of our lesson. We do what? Aircraft nose just below horizon. Okay. Increase the throttle 2300. There we go. Now that we know how to cruise, climb, and descend, let's talk about the turn attitude. Gently pull the yoke left or right to start rolling the plane. Okay. If you take a look outside, you can see how our attitudes changed. But you can Whoa, also too much. For the details. Too much. As a general rule, you always want to keep your turns under 30 degrees. I streamed all of Battlefield 1, actually. At the top of your attitude indicator, there's a series of notches representing 10 degrees each. Use them to control your roll. A roll? Okay. Notice the more you turn, the more on the yoke to maintain altitude. When you're rolling out, you'll need to do the opposite. Roll and push at the same time. Roll and push. The more you know about the main attitudes of flight, the closer you get to that pilot state of mind. So keep practicing. And whenever you're done, pass me the controls. We got it. Alright, we got this. Now. I think I'm doing pretty good. Take off and level flight. Oh man, we gotta take off now. Oh man, we're on the ground now. 55 knots, 75 knots, 55 knots, the speed. Recommended speed for this Cessna to achieve liftoff. Yeah, landing's hard. I can't crash in training mode. Here we are. Sedona Airport. Oh, aircraft is under is user hard, control. But there are a few key points to remember. First, we always take off into the wind. Face backwards. Which won't be an issue on a calm day like today. Into the wind, huh? Second, before we enter a runway, we always make sure it's clear. Okay. Let's look. Nobody's over here. Oh, nobody's over there. Looks looks like we're pretty good. Everything looks good. Yeah. No cross -track. Go ahead and taxi into position. The rudder pedals should make steering the plane pretty easy. 
runner. A little bit of green. Oh, we gotta turn off the brakes first. Not that fast. Stop! Oh no, we need to go in reverse. Okay, so we did the break. break on is there a good indicator for if your brakes on or not not really all right whatever all right here we go this part's kind of hard all right we got to get to the middle breaking. More power. Keep pressing power. Good. Now gently pull back on the yoke. Line up the top of your instrument panel so it's a couple inches above the horizon. We did it. We're up. We're up. And we're airborne. We did it. I streamed all the Battlefield 1 stories already. Climb to 5,500 feet and maintain 75 knots. Okay. Let's do this. Can I do the other? Well, I'll stay this side. I was going to say, I don't want to do the outside view, but. Alright, hold on. We got to get to. Um, 5,500 feet. Okay, so we gotta go up more. I'm at max RPMs. Hey, Holy! I haven't seen you forever, man. <laughs> Where have you been? Have you been uh, off base? Let's get some 07s. Really, I'm Messiah. He is an OG of this channel. What can you do now? Oh, yeah. Oh, because we're partnered on this channel now? I like doing that. I know the cockpit's obviously important, but... Alright, we made it. 5,500. Now we need 75 knots. 07s for our OG, Holy Omnissiah. All right, that's too much. Now we're we're going down too much. Ah, uh, 5,500 feet, a nice safe altitude for part two of our lesson. Okay, okay. Straight and level flight. First step here is adjusting 
Have you been um, out on the ocean? Fully on the size in the United States Navy, everybody. All right, what are we doing? Use the yoke to straighten the aircraft. Am I not straight? Oh, I need the attitude thing. Well, am I too high? Yeah, I'm too high now. We gotta go down. I don't have Battlefield 5. Let's start by easing the throttle back to 1800 RPMs. 1800? Alright. Legit Navy officer. You been gone? Where'd you go? Or is that top secret? And you're out of San Diego, but... Holy is basically the Admiral of the United States Navy. You probably noticed, to maintain altitude, you need to pitch the nose up. Yep. You could just keep pulling on the yoke to hold steady, but that's not really a precise means of control. Probably better to adjust your trim wheel until you don't need to push or pull on the yoke. Drag the trim down when you need to set the nose up. Drag it up. To what are they talking the about? I don't know what that means. Try adding trim to keep us at 5,500 feet without increasing. What's product. trim? If you feel our pitch slipping and need to get back to getting ready, attitude, don't worry. Just pull on the South China Sea in November. In right oh, dang. Add trim. Need to go up more. What does trim mean? Trim, you don't have to keep pulling back. Oh, okay. I'm going to get my altitude back up. I'm back to school already. How come? Whoa, what was that? Wait, why is my altitude not going up? Because I'm not going fast enough. Whoa, whoop. Do you have to like keep pushing trim, or does it one time and that's the all the trim? Oh, it's Y plus up. <laughs> Come on. What do you mean? A, an airplane is just like an airboat. Right? It has a rudder. Planes have a rudder. Uh, probably smarter than you? Uh, yeah, maybe. I usually raid people that are playing the same game. Though. 
Alright, we're almost to the altitude we need to be at. You want me to raid somebody? You're asking me to do something and then you leave. <laughs> hey, Maxim. That beat because I my uh, pitch was too much. All right, okay, we're almost there. I thought I did it. Uh, that trim thing, I don't understand how to activate it. I'm pushing what it says. But, and then it just goes back down. All my RPMs. I need to slow down. slow down a bit air speed is so slow no it's it's too fast I have to get down to 18 1800 I was at like 23 What's my 1800 RPM? Okay, so I got that. But I don't... I don't get that though. I thought it was supposed to have it hold there. That's the key to straight and level flight. It saves you from constantly pushing or pulling on the yoke. But I activate it, but I'm still yeah, nose diving. Time to enjoy the ride. If you want more practice using the trim, go for it. Whenever you're ready to pass the Oversimplified control, uploaded? I wasn't told that. So I did a video like a few hours, a couple hours before the oversimplified video aired. And I was like, oh, I got a bunch of comments on the video. And half of them were... The like half of the comments on my video were saying that... Um, oversimplified. Uploaded. <laughs> okay, I have control. I don't understand that, the, the trim thing. It never held, though. The trim button was two buttons, but when I pushed it, you had to push Y and up, and it, it didn't... I don't feel like it did anything. Hmm. Oh man, we got to the land now. This is gonna be bad. Everybody off the plane. You're not gonna want to be on the plane when I do this. Like I get the idea of what the trim is, but I don't couldn't figure out how to like actually do it. It didn't feel like it was doing it. I was doing something wrong apparently. I don't know if I would have raid, was going to raid them anyways. Alright. 65 knots. Holy! You're learning to fly as opposed to learning? <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm far more interested in learning this game than Hearts of Iron. I'm sorry, my friend. Can we get some more 07s? By the way, um, our channel just got approved for channel memberships. So uh, it's being a pr it's in the review process right now. So soon you guys will be able to uh, become channel members, get emotes and stuff. My first instructor used to say the best part of flying is landing. Yeah, I, I had this downloading um, overnight. Is that 91 gigabytes? Today you're in charge of bringing us in for a safe landing. Oh man, this is gonna be bad. Guaranteed I crash. So we don't have to complete the standard traffic pattern. As I've already set us up in landing configuration at 65 knots with 10 degrees of flaps and idle power. Oh. We're on the glide slope now. 
we're idle already. Maintain speed around 65 knots. Change your pitch if you need to, and keep your aim point on the runway number. When you're targeting the runway number, you want to keep it steady in your sights. Steady. If it looks like the number's moving up in your windscreen, you're coming in low. Hmm. You'll need to add a bit more throttle to get back on the slope. Wait, what? Makes sense. You'll need to add flaps to increase your rate of descent, but you'll also need to push How do I do that? Trim to change your attitude and maintain the same How do I do that? How do I do either of those? F8? I'm on a controller! Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Keep your aim point on the runway threshold. When you're ten feet above the runway, it's time to flare. Flare? When we pass the threshold, shift your aim point to the end of the runway. Then pull back slightly on the yoke to aim the nose just above it. Oh man. Get nervous here. Follow the follow the guide slope. Oh no. Okay, we're past the Oh! Start the we're good! Oh! I like how it told me when I was like 30 feet away that I was going too slow. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do 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 My first instructor used to say the best part of flying is landing in one piece. So look, I can't do all the controls on my controller, I guess, huh? You're in charge of bringing us in for a safe landing. We've got clearance for a straight in approach, so we don't have to complete the standard traffic pattern. And I've already set us up in landing configuration at 65 knots. I want to see the airport, the number. It's too far away. If it looks like the number is moving up in your windscreen, you're coming in low. You'll need to add a bit more throttle to get back on the slope. Throttle. If it looks like the number is moving down in your windscreen, well, then you're too high. You'll need to add flaps to increase your rate of descent, but you'll also need to push forward and trim to change your attitude and maintain the same speed. F8. Look on too high. Where are the numbers? Keep your aim point on the runway threshold. When you're 10 feet above the runway, it's time to flare. Once I don't, we I don't know what that the means. Shift your aim point to the end of the runway. Then the threshold? pull back slightly on the yoke to aim the nose just above it. Oh, there's the number. I think I'm ascending. That's a. I feel like I'm way too steep. Reducing altitude. You should be able to start flaring the plane now. I don't know what that means. Keep pulling back slowly. Let the plane settle onto the runway. Don't push it down, but don't let it start climbing. 
Oh! Perfect! Ten out of ten. Oh, yeah. I figured just by the context that, yeah, that's what Flair meant. Oh, man. They're proud of me. Perfect. First try. <laughs> oh, it's going to be the next one. Traffic pattern. Hmm. I still don't get the trimming. How to do that and how do I know I've done it? Oh man, we're going to go up. And then do a circle. And then come back and land. Okay, okay. Okay. Put it all together now. I'm going to put it all together now. We'll go full screen until it gets back. So we're going to do crosswind, downwind, base, and final. All right, here we go. Runway slope, one degree. It's pretty flat. Is that even possible? All right. Was it 55 knots? Oh, oh, oh. We're veering to the left a little bit there. Or to the right. So we need to check the alignment on this plane. Do you just go full throttle when you start with this? Is there any reason to not? Shoot, I forgot how many knots. 55? Up. Up. We're up. We're up, boys. We're up. What'd they say? A thousand feet? That's it. Oh, okay. Left? Okay. Not full throttle. Dropped a little bit. The joystick is on the controller is super sensitive. Like too much. I think I saw that in a review. Somebody said that. Once we reach altitude, you're gonna start turning left 90 degrees toward a 122 degree heading. 122 degrees. We gotta start okay, turning left. Okay. Ready to enter the crosswind section. Oh man, crosswinds. Keep going till you reach the traffic pattern altitude of 5,700 feet. Ready to make your left turn downwind? 5,700. The runway appears at the halfway point of your wing strut. You'll know you're at a good glide distance. Okay, I think we're good. Okay. We did it. 5,700. We got the wind at our back now. Good. We're on the right track. Lower your nose to a cruise attitude and reduce power to 2,100 RPMs. Once your speed is in the 
white arc at 10 degrees of flaps to prep us for landing. Now it's about that time to check if the runway is looking good. All right, let's look. And it probably goes without saying, yep. we'll always watch out for other planes entering or exiting the pattern. That's good, good advice there. Just solid advice. That's your cue to turn left again onto the base leg. Forty five degrees behind me. Okay, we're getting there. Not quite. All right, it's pretty close. Ninety degrees, forty five degrees. Too high. All right, reduce power to idle to start losing altitude and maintain cruise attitude. Okay. Keep an eye on the runway as we get ready for our final turn. That'll also keep our speed around sixty five knots. We got to slow down. Where's the runway? Oh my gosh, I went way too far. I didn't turn sharp enough. I don't know, it was that sharp of a turn. Oh, beautiful. I didn't overshoot. What are you talking about? too far oh crap we got to go on the grass did I miss the la is that the last taxiway here we go good job as an old instructor said to me not only did you not we die, did it you're really learning to fly you'd want to be a passenger on this plane I I need a few I, I need a few more uh, a few more practice runs before I would do that. First solo flight. Oh man, no help this time. <sighs> All right, we're just we're ready. I mean, the only way I'm gonna learn, just you gotta do it eventually. Eventually, you gotta have your first solo flight, right? Do a barrel. Woo. All right, I did. I did pretty good that time. We're gonna do this, so we're gonna we're gonna get it the first time all by myself. All right.
those flaps. You gotta have the flaps up. All right, so we're gonna do, let me show you. So we're gonna do a big old circle again, but this time on my own. I'm gonna go up, and take a left, 90 degree turn. Another 90 degree turn and then do it. It's like a rectangle. Whew, thanks, Soki. I know, I gotta do it for for the community. That's Air 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 NASCAR. Aerial NASCAR right here. Okay, can we do it by ourselves? Yes. Dang straight. Good teacher. Okay, throttle increasing. It's going up. We're starting to move. Let's open up a little more throttle here. Here we go. Straighten out a bit. Full throttle now. A little bit too much left and right here. Getting up speed. I know how to do the rudder. Let's get to 55. And we're up. We did it. We're up. Now we're going full throttle. We're full throttle. We're going to go to 55, 5400 feet. This is your captain speaking. It's my first flight alone. Not sure if any of you knew that when you bought your ticket, but uh, that's why it's a discount airline. Should have read the fine print. But we will be trying hard as we can to uh, survive this flight. That I can. That I can promise. All right, let's move left. This will be a short flight, only about five minutes. As we're just going to take a little tour around the valley here. Practiced our first solo takeoff and landing. If you look to your right, some mountains, some red rocks. You can also see a town over there to the right. They're, uh, we don't like them very much. That's why we built an airport by them. Um, tonight's in-flight movie will be Pearl Harbor starring Ben Affleck. And the food will be uh, pineapple pizza. It will be your meal for the evening. There's the airport where we hope to uh, end our flight safely. Let's enjoy your in-flight movie of and meal of the uh, multiple Academy Award Oscar-winning 
Pearl Harbor and uh, some very cold leftover pineapple pizza. And we're now on a uh, short final for the airport. You'll see it out the left side of your plane. Going to be engaging flaps now to slow down. We do seem to be coming in at a steep angle. We're going to try to correct that here. We're going to have to dip our altitude quite a bit. Yep, this isn't going to work, but we're going to we're going to try. We're coming in very steep. But we're going to make this happen. It's a very long runway. Go back to the default camera angle. Let's pull up a little bit and bring her down nice and soft here. A little bit, little bit hard there. Uh, and we're on the ground. Hmm. You weren't really supposed to land there. Wait, what? Where is this? What, was expected. what? At this point, I think it's probably best if we start the lesson over. What did I do wrong? I landed. Yeah, I was like in the middle of the runway, but I landed. You suck. What a jerk. Who is that guy? But that's that's the same airport. I don't understand. It's time. I landed it's time fine at the airstrip I thought I was supposed to. You don't know what I did wrong? See you on the other side. Wasn't that good? I landed it. Wrong airport. The airports were there. It's the same one I was on. Same one I left from. All right, we're up. What, are there a bunch of airports here? That was the same airport. You didn't fly far enough? What? Jeez. Alright, anyways. Let's get off. Okay, we're up. Was I supposed to go? Is there a different runway? Huh. By the way, hold on a sec. Wait. All right. We're good. we go but there was just run one runway right let's look look there's just one runway uh let's do this view for now
Does anyone live down there? Any of you? Is this your house? Anybody? I still don't really get what I did wrong, because I just plan on doing the same thing. Anyone live in Sedona, Arizona? Well, I'm way too high now. Alright, we're going to go back to cockpit view. As we lower our altitude. We're going to go F8 for the flaps. Is that really where they train pilots? Got it. Hmm. You weren't really supposed to land there. Huh. It's well done, don't get me wrong. Just not what was expected. At this point, I think it's probably best if we start the lesson over. I still don't get it. I think I wasn't supposed to land yet. We're NFL teams, the Minnesota Vikings. Hmm. I landed. It looked like I didn't achieve the last left turn. No, that's not why I failed, Robert. You keep saying that, but that's not what... Are you listening to what she's saying? Oh, wait. That wasn't the right one. Okay, let's look. I feel like I did this. Look, I did the thing. I went off, took off, took a left, came around. Hmm. Dude, the Bills might be good this year, though. I think they can win that division. Not even joking. But look, I did that. Used base leg to fly straight into final or that you missed the runway paint. But it said you weren't supposed to land there. Do you think it was a landing issue? It's time. But it's, that's not what she said. I'll be watching from the ground in radio contact if you need me. But something tells Didn't it go wide enough? Your goal hmm. is to complete Sedona's left hand traffic pattern on your own. Remember what we covered in our I think it had something to do with the turn. Just fine. Good luck. See you on the other side. Oh, oh, I don't mean to. There we go. We're up. Landing gear was up. It's it's a Cessna. <laughs> Next time, take off the landing gear when landing. No, 
That's a fixed gear. The arrow does end right at the start of the runway, but that's where she wants you to. Hold on, let me move my camera. You guys can't even see the, oh wait, uh, I want it kinda, I kinda wanted it up here though. Never mind, I want it up here. Okay, anyway. Turn left for downwind leg. I think I was just not in the line of the pattern they want me to do. Okay, I did that. There it is. I don't think they have military aircraft in this game. I think I'm going to go further out. You guys, you guys aren't, you guys aren't listening to her. You keep, you keep, uh, saying things that she didn't say. Yeah, I'm going to go out further this time. I'll, I'll go further. I think that's good. Downwind leg. Still not activating the thing I'm supposed to do, though. It still says turn left for downwind leg. Maybe I do another lap? What if I did another lap? Go ahead and give me the space shuttle now. We're flying over it. You can see the objective right there. There we go again. We'll go way wide. What if we ran out of gas? Because it was only enough to do one lap. 
Heard even people with amazing computers were still only getting like 25 SPF. SPF. FPS. Yep, I'm ready for Apollo 11. I don't know what to do this time, but... The heck? Can I, like, lock it when I'm looking in the camera? Good angle on the bank there. <laughs> we turned too sharp. We're now upside down. Flaps up. That's right, what we're going to do. We're coming in hard. Here we go. We're coming in sideways. We're coming in. Oh, we're dead. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I just wanted to go down. I, well, I, wasn't, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do there. I, it wasn't giving me the... Um, the achievement for or whatever like the checkpoint for that left hand turn or left downwind turn so i don't know what um how you get that the first left turn was fine the first left turn was fine Where do I teach? Whoa, that's kind of personal. <laughs> you want my address too? Jeez. Why the big planes? I haven't even completed the tutorial yet. Yeah, I don't see what I'm doing wrong, Justin. I just wanted to finish it, you know? Okay, look at this. Crosswind. Downwind. Do I need to lower my elevation? <laughs> doesn't doesn't matter. Is that what they told him? Like, hey, it doesn't matter. You didn't finish your training. You're ready for the the 747. I'll be watching from the ground in radio contact if you need me. But something tells me you won't. Your goal is Boeing is short on uh, pilots. They're just taking anybody. You've done a half day of training. Yeah, these buttons are so sensitive. And we're up. You aren't pulling back the throttle. I need I needed to pull back the throttle more on that last turn should trust him his name is Baldor of aviation
Auto land. Is there auto landing on planes? Just before base leg, flaps would also... I had the flaps up last couple times. Airbus for... Turn left for downwind leg. Hmm. So I need to I need to slow RPMs on that last left turn. Is that what that means? Throttle idle and flaps full on final. Okay. When they mean idle, do they just mean like throttle all the way down? Okay, flaps on. I went to 18. Med 1800. Flaps are on. Oh, that's not very good. Hmm. You weren't really supposed to land there. It's well done, don't get me wrong. Just not what was expected. At this point, I think it's probably best if we start the lesson over. Can we get can we get this emote? Can we get can we get this emote in here? I think I see it. Dumb software stuff. You are turning from upwind directly to downwind instead of flying at a right angle on crosswind, then turning downwind. No, I don't get it. All right. Let's just go fly somewhere. Let's try it. Let's try what I did last time, or I was going to do. Toronto to New York. Kennedy. These are a bunch of people that are playing. Oh no. Wait, 
We don't need her. Apply to Buffalo. That would be pretty close, right? Okay. All right, let it load up. I wonder what the scale is, like how long it's going to take to, how long it would take to, um, in the game to fly from Toronto to New York City. Here we are. It's 1.54 a.m. in Toronto. It's JFK. It's really dark out. I haven't flown this plane yet. Dude, where's all my... I can't see anything. It's really dark. How do you turn on the lights? How do you turn on the headlights? Headlights, please? Can I also make it daylight? Whatever. We're up. I don't know how to turn on the lights. You have the scales one to one. Dude, look how nice this looks. Look. Someone turn. Someone, let me know how you turn on the lights. Really, I would just rather. Traffic controller. Why isn't basic controls on here? AI. Fuel. Objectives. Travel to. Travel to cruise? What does that mean? Oh, now I'm going to... Is it like fast traveling me? Also, I gotta get that like navigation. So this is... Why I, I didn't I, I shouldn't have um, I shouldn't have ended the tutorial because I bet it goes over all this stuff like how to do the navigation. Well, while we're at cruise, we'll figure out how to do this stuff. 
Because I saw somebody I watched streaming. They like, changed it to daylight and stuff, too. Look, it's pitch black. All right, we're at, we're at cruising. VFR map? Oh. That's good. Oh, weather. Stalling. Oh, look! It's morning! Oh, what are we, too high? Too low? Go down! Me go faster. I don't know what. What does this plane uh, fly at? What altitude? How many knots do I need to be? I don't know the altitude for this plane. Speed and altitude. We seem to be on a pretty good trajectory here though. airspeed and altitude I should be at. Oh, wait. 38 degrees. much. Cruise speed was three. Oh, whoa, I need to go way faster. What altitude? It's just like practice time right here, but... I can't really get to that speed, though. 300... 330 knots? Isn't that, like, insane? Oh no, I'm off. I'm off course. Yeah, 
Yeah, but what altitude do I have to be at? I'm also off the flight path again. I'm too high. Don't jets like this go this high? Thousand feet? Ten thousand? Oh. Alright, then we're gonna go down. <laughs> Ask for directions from another plane. Oh, look. Okay. Now I'm going way faster. We gotta get back on course. Whoa! Camera! Alright, we're back on course. <laughs> the passengers' drinks are flying around. Hey, did you guys know stall? I feel like I can go 330 knots at that altitude. Or can I? Maybe I can. My plane really wants to shoot up high. Okay, we just passed an airport. You overstressed the aircraft. <laughs> I should have been using that uh, airplane. I've never used that airplane. <laughs> All right, let's change it. On the bottom left there. We overstressed it. I want to go to the next training one. Let's try this. Flying is the best way to get to get point A to point B if you know how to navigate. This training session is all about the basics of VFR navigation. Maintain a heading and calculate flight time to follow a planned route. Track aircraft location, flight progress, visually via identifiable markers. Okay. Is this game free? No, it's $60. Getting hungry for dinner. We might take a break. Thumb for each degree off your route. Oh, what'd that say? Kind of want to ride my motor ride my motorcycle tonight. It's still hot out. All right, back at the training. All right, lady. Okay. Fundamentals of getting from point A to point B. Step one, putting some distance between us and the ground. So take off? Okay. That I can do now.
It's on PC only right now. It's gonna be on Xbox eventually. Driving to Sturgis tonight. <laughs> hey, Warrior. Whoa, windy. How long are we gonna stream for? Not much longer. Me to go 5800. This thing was really like pushing me to the right. We're going straight up. Too steep. It goes without saying, but good navigation starts with good departure prep. Hmm. Let's set up the aircraft for the first leg of your trip. Okay. Set the cruise altitude. What do you what do you do with that? Good to know. Go ahead and position your plane above the airport. Uh, what? Position aircraft above runway center. What are they talking about? Oh. I need to go this way. Oh, okay. Going back over the airport, the airstrip. Definitely watch the oversimplified video. For sure. Is it like due north? Oh, it is. I don't want to go back to the departure position. Wait, what? Why would I land back at the same place? Why does it want me to go over, right over the airstrip I just left from. Yeah, 
Yeah, they actually want us to buzz the tower. I understand why you wanted me to do this this way. Munns Park. Start Navlog stopwatch. Alright. On the Navlog, you can see our next waypoint, Munns Park. Is it a 41 degree heading about five minutes away? Navigating is basically flying a given heading for a given amount of time. Sometimes you deviate. But if you track the time flow from your last known position, you'll always have at least a range for your current position. Okay. We all know speed can increase or decrease depending on the wind. That's why at your next waypoint you'll want to compare your estimated time and route with the actual time flow. Validate your estimate and your progress. Hmm. All right, so we're just flying now. We am I too high? Do they want me to be at like five thousand, fire or fifty eight hundred or something? When will you be streaming? Right now. I'm streaming right now. Going golfing. Going to the golf course to go golfing. Is that what's up here? Yep. What's up? Look around a little bit. Look around. No, we don't have any parachutes for the passengers. We had budget cuts. Just me and the the, the 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 trainer lady. They get off the next stop. We're gonna have to jump out. You have to get out. You're gonna have to just jump out with your parachute. Two and a half nautical miles left. Engine's in good shape. We got got good fuel. How many times have I killed the instructor? Uh, none. I'm perfect at this. A 
the next Sully. to the left Stay to the right this the interstate just the golf course down there like that's the golf course top gun yeah, I'm, I'm maverick all right, look, there's, there it is. Follow the highway. What's the... This is going to take forever. Well, the co-pilot is in there with me. Whoa. It's like harder to fly when I'm in the cockpit. Supposed to follow the highway? The highway's like not straight. Going to Flagstaff. Wait, this has got like let's see, eight and a half nautical miles. All right, we're gonna we're gonna get make this a little more interesting here. Uh, whoa. Oh yeah, there we go, dude. This is amazing looking. I know the FPS sucks, but the resolution's great. That's how people streaming with like ten thousand dollar computers that were even getting like twenty five FPS and stuff. Co pilot scared, yeah, probably. Nope, she's just like, dude, you're so good. Oh look. There's a there's a road. Is this supposed to be the highway? It's dirt. Restart navlog. Oh, I was supposed to reset it. Whoops. Is this the highway they want me to? It looks like a dirt road. Should we take a look? Uh, my game froze. I can't see anything. Uh, and... I can't see anything. I think my game crashed. The game crashed. Can you guys hear me? Oh sevens for the stream. Man, I was watching streamers today when their games crashed too. Dang. Oh well. <laughs> Um, I needed to end the stream anyway, you guys, so I'm going to head out. I'll probably play some of this offline so I could practice, because I think it'd be really cool if um, we... Let me switch to uh, full screen. Okay. Um, I thought it'd be cool to do things like um, go, go to famous historical places. Don't you think that'd be cool? You go to famous... 
historical places go over you know Rome or go over uh you know like the pyramids and stuff like that 